All right, guys, welcome back. In today's question, we have a problem from the second chapter of the Merriam textbook, and we know the projection PA and the components FB of the force F along oblique axes A and B are both 325 newtons, and we need to determine the magnitude of F and the orientation theta of the B axis. So one of the givens of the question is that we know the projection PA. Uh, let's just show that in here. So this will be the projection PA, which all we need to do in order to find the PA is just find this angle right here, which we can easily figure out. Uh, it will be 115 minus 75, which will be 40 degrees. And we know the PA would be simply F times cosine of 40 degrees. We know PA is 325 newton and F can be found by dividing 325 to cosine of 40 degrees. And if you do that, we'll get 424.2. To Newton and that's the first part of the question where we need to find the magnitude of the F. The other information that we have in the question is that we know also the FB is 325 so let's just show FA and FB so if you want to find that we just have to do parallel line with A and parallel line with B so this will be our FA and this will be our FB and uh, we just have to figure out some angles in here but we already found F so it will be 424.2 Newton and we know FB uh, which we can show it also in here to FB is 325.2 so all we need to do is just to do law of signs so let's call this angle here alpha so if that's the alpha we know that f over sine of alpha would be fb over sine of 40 degrees we already know the value of f and fb fb is 325 newton and we found f in the previous step 424.2 newtons and from here we can find sine of alpha which will be 424.2 times sine of 40 degrees divided by 325 and this is gonna be 0 0.839 and alpha would be simply 0 0.839 which will be 57 degrees now that we had alpha we know these two angles in here are the same and we can simply find this angle here let's call it beta we know alpha plus beta plus 40 is 180 because they're all the angles it would be the sum of angles in a triangle we found alpha 57 and we can find beta which will be 180 minus 97, which is 83. So we found 83 for beta, and we know that we can also find this angle, which would be simply 180 minus 115, because we know from here to here is 115. So this will be 65 degrees, and 65 degrees plus theta, which will be uh, will be beta which is 83 so our theta would be 83 minus 65 degrees or 18 degrees which is what the question is asking in the second part of the question that would be all for this one please let me know if you have any questions just drop it in the comment i'd be happy to answer those questions uh you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one mm -hmm.